Ever wondered how to turn your garden into a thriving sanctuary for wildlife? Well, the answer lies in the magic of wildlife-friendly gardens. These unique spaces are more than just visually appealing, they are essential havens for a variety of creatures, from the humble bumblebee to the vibrant butterfly, and even the chirpy neighborhood birds. Wildlife gardens play a crucial role in promoting biodiversity and maintaining the health of our ecosystems. In a world where natural habitats are rapidly disappearing, gardens can provide a much-needed refuge for many species. Think of birds darting from flower to flower, spreading pollen as they go, or bees buzzing around, their tiny bodies dusted with golden pollen grains. These interactions, while seemingly small, have far-reaching effects on our environment. But it's not just about the birds and the bees. Wildlife gardens also support a myriad of other creatures, each with their own important role in the ecosystem. The flutter of a butterfly's wings, the industrious burrowing of earthworms, the quiet rustle of a hedgehog, all these are signs of a healthy, thriving garden. Creating a wildlife-friendly garden is more than just a hobby. It's a commitment to preserving the intricate web of life that exists in our backyards. It's about understanding that even the smallest patch of land can become a sanctuary for wildlife, a place where nature's symphony plays out every day. With your own wildlife garden, you can play a vital role in preserving these beautiful creatures and their habitats. So, are you ready to take the first step towards creating your own wildlife haven? Now, how do you start creating a wildlife-friendly garden? Well, it all begins with careful planning. You see, a wildlife garden isn't just a random assortment of plants, it's a carefully crafted habitat designed to attract and support a variety of wildlife. So, where do you begin? First things first, location, location, location. Just as in real estate, it's all about finding the right spot. It's essential to understand your garden's orientation, as the direction it faces can greatly influence its microclimate. For instance, a south-facing garden is likely to be warmer and sunnier, attracting a different set of wildlife compared to a north-facing garden. Next, you'll want to familiarize yourself with your local ecosystem. What kind of wildlife is native to your area? What plants do they prefer? This knowledge will help you create a garden that's not just beautiful, but also beneficial to your local wildlife. Now let's talk about plants. Choosing native plants is key to attracting local wildlife. Why? Because native plants have evolved over thousands of years alongside local wildlife and are therefore best suited to meet their needs. Consider incorporating a variety of plant types to cater to different wildlife species. For instance, flowering plants provide nectar for bees and butterflies, while trees and shrubs offer shelter and nesting sites for birds. Also, think about the four seasons. Aim to have something in bloom as much as possible throughout the year to provide a consistent food source for pollinators. And don't forget about water. A small pond or even a bird bath can make a world of difference to wildlife, especially during the hotter months. Lastly, don't be too tidy. A little bit of mess can be a good thing in a wildlife garden. Leave some leaf litter around for insects, and let your grass grow a bit longer to provide cover for ground-dwelling creatures. Remember, a well-planned garden is the first step to creating a thriving wildlife habitat. So take your time, do your research, and enjoy the process. After all, gardening is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. Choosing the right plants is a crucial part of creating a wildlife-friendly garden. This is where the magic begins, where the symphony of nature starts to play its delightful tune. Think of it as a matchmaking process. You're setting the stage for a beautiful relationship between your garden and the wildlife it will be attracting. To do this, you need to understand the preferences of your potential garden guests. What flowers do bees buzz around? What shrubs provide the perfect perch for birds? What plants encourage butterflies to flutter by? There's a world of choices out there. Let's start with the plants that bees love. Lavender, for instance, is a bee magnet. Its vibrant purple flowers are not only a feast for our eyes but a nectar buffet for bees. Similarly, sunflowers are to bees what candy stores are to kids. They can't resist them. Now let's turn our attention to our feathered friends. Berry-producing shrubs like holly and elderberry are a bird's best friend. They provide both food and shelter, making them the perfect addition to your wildlife-friendly garden. Butterflies, those delicate winged beauties, have their favorites too. Milkweed, for instance, is a must-have if you're aiming to attract monarch butterflies. Its bright blooms are irresistible to them. Don't forget hummingbirds, those tiny high-speed flyers. They have a sweet tooth and tube-shaped flowers like honeysuckle and salvia are their flower of choice. And don't worry if you don't have a sprawling garden. You can create a mini wildlife haven in window boxes, patio pots, or even in hanging baskets. All it takes is choosing the right plants. 
Remember, diversity is key. The wider the variety of plants, the wider the variety of wildlife. But always choose plants that are native to your area. They're not only more likely to thrive, but they'll also attract native wildlife. This matchmaking process may seem complex, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Each plant you choose is an invitation, a welcome sign to the birds, bees, and butterflies in your area. With the right plants, your garden can become a bustling hub for local wildlife. So let's get planting and watch as your garden comes alive with the beauty and buzz of nature. But plants alone are not enough. Wildlife also needs shelter and water. One crucial aspect of a wildlife-friendly garden is providing safe havens for our winged and multi-legged guests. Creating sheltering habitats can be as simple as leaving a pile of leaves or logs in a quiet corner of your garden. These small piles become mini hotels for insects, providing them with a cozy retreat. Birdhouses are another excellent addition. These provide nesting spots for birds and offer a safe place for them to raise their young. From simple wooden boxes to intricate designs, there's a birdhouse to fit every garden style. And remember, location is key. Place your birdhouses high enough to deter predators, but still within reach for cleaning and maintenance. Now let's talk about water. All creatures need it, and providing a reliable water source can attract a variety of wildlife. A bird bath or a small pond can work wonders. If you're installing a bird bath, ensure it's shallow and has a rough surface for them to grip. For those adventurous enough to install a pond, even a small one can attract frogs, dragonflies, and even ducks. For winter months, consider a heated bird bath to ensure your feathered friends have access to water even when the temperature drops below freezing. But remember, cleanliness is important. Regularly clean your bird baths and feeders to prevent the spread of diseases. Proper shelter and water sources can make your garden a haven for wildlife. Sustainable practices are the backbone of a successful wildlife garden. Now you might be wondering what are these practices? Well, we've got composting, mulching, and organic pest control to name a few. Starting with composting, it's a natural process that turns your kitchen and garden waste into nutrient-rich soil. Not only does it reduce waste, but it also improves soil structure, providing a thriving environment for your plants and the little critters that call your garden home. Next up, we have mulching. Mulch can be made from a variety of organic materials like straw, wood chips, or even fallen leaves. It serves a dual purpose. On one hand, it retains moisture, reducing the need for frequent watering. On the other hand, it provides shelter for insects and other small creatures, contributing to your garden's biodiversity. Finally, let's talk about organic pest control. Instead of using harmful chemicals that can disrupt the ecosystem, consider natural alternatives. For instance, ladybugs are known to feast on aphids, while birds can help control the population of slugs and snails. In a nutshell, these sustainable practices work in harmony with nature, encouraging a balanced ecosystem. They're not just about maintaining a garden, they're about creating a sanctuary. A place where every creature, big or small, has a role to play. Sustainable practices not only benefit the wildlife but also make your garden healthier and more vibrant. So, why not give it a try? After all, a little effort can go a long way in preserving our precious biodiversity. So what impact does your wildlife garden have? Well, let's start with biodiversity. By cultivating a wildlife-friendly garden, you're creating a sanctuary for various species, from birds and bees to butterflies and beneficial insects. You're contributing to a healthier ecosystem by providing much-needed habitats and food sources. In essence, your garden becomes a vibrant patch in the global quilt of biodiversity. But the impact isn't just ecological, it's personal too. There's an undeniable sense of fulfillment that comes from watching a garden you've nurtured burst into life, teeming with creatures that flutter, buzz, and chirp. You're not just growing plants, you're fostering life, creating a haven in your own backyard. The beauty of it is, you don't need a sprawling estate to make a difference. A balcony, a window box, or a small backyard can all be transformed into wildlife-friendly spaces. No matter the size of your outdoor space, you can start your own wildlife garden and make a difference. 